Like, listen, the place... Listen, the place is haunted, okay? We get it? We get it, it's hella haunted in here. Leave it alone! Go home! Did I scare you? Did I freak you out a little bit? Hello and welcome to Self Scare, the gaming show where I play spooky games. I've been looking at indie horror games again, guys. It's a dangerous path for me to go on. Like all summer so far, I keep thinking I should make more horror videos. And then I'm like, but it's not Halloween. I should save it for Halloween. And then I'm like, I can do whatever I want, AKA, uh, to torture myself for your entertainment. I don't know why horror games freak me out so much. I love the concept. <laughs> I love the concept. And I love a horror movie and it's no problem. I will sit down and watch the most disturbing, stressful horror thriller. Eating a big bowl of pizza rolls. Is this how you eat pizza rolls? This tiny little pinch is a pizza roll eating motion. You know, sipping on a beverage. Just like giddy, just like giddy and excited. But then it's so much harder when it comes to a game. It's because I have to control it and I have to be the one putting myself in the scary situation. When I'm sitting back here and I'm observing the screen, I'm observing the actors, it's like they're the dumb ones. You get to just be like, haha, they're the dumb ones. But when it's me, it's like, wait, this is scary. Oh my God, putting myself in their shoes? Oh my God, empathy? Anyway, as you can hear, scary sounds already happening. I'm, the vibe is off already. This is the grain wind incident 77, but it's something about an abandoned building and found footage. Those are big categories for me, like in life in general. A urban explorer enters the grain wind production factory. The premise has been long, the premise has been long abandoned and shut down many years ago due to unknown circumstances. Nobody ever knows the circumstances at the beginning of a horror film, you can guarantee that no one knows the circumstances. We're playing the tape. No, I'm, okay, because I'm the person in the found footage. The people in the found footage are always the dumbest of them all, dude. The people in the found footage never stand a chance. Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Left? Am I being timed? There is a timer going. It's really quiet. Okay, I need to get my brain in the mode of like, this is a movie. It's just a movie. No, I'm in movie mode. I'm just watching this. I'm watching this and my fingers are moving independently of me. Newspaper. Moscow Daily News. Man with bat. Reports on grain wind production facility. In recent news, the factory... I'm ignoring that. The factory has been rumored to have poor working con- I'm turning the volume down because if it jump scares me, I'm gonna shit. Poor working conditions and security regulations. No, that was nothing. That was just little Jimmy running around upstairs and he's probably fine. Listen, it's so dark is the problem. It's so dark is the problem with this. This is too scary. I never play stuff this scary. Shop vac? Shop vac? Can you vacuum up all this blood for Christ's sake? I was not built for this. I was not built for this. This is like, the problem with me doing horror games is it's the world's shittiest video because I'm just, I'm just in silence, mouth agape. I can't handle it. What is this, radiation? Can I see radiation in the camera? They're not gonna throw anything too crazy at me like right from the beginning, right? It's fine. This building is hella abandoned though, like if I had to say, like if I'm, if I'm, Oh, there's an alarm system. If I'm gonna like rate on a scale of one to 10, like how abandoned this is, this one's really abandoned. Oh, there's actually a light in here. There's graffiti. Oh, and a hole to the room below. Let me not fall in the hole. Who was that man? He was not very scary. Was that supposed to jump scare me? That man in particular was simply not very scary to me. I better not hear foot slapping sounds again while I'm trying to read this. Work-related death incident. And he fell to his death while lit on fire and was dead before you even hit the bottom of the elevator. I don't know if that's how it works. I think being burned to death is pretty slow. As a watcher of horror movies, this is something I've discovered, I think, is that being burned to death is pretty slow. Okay, this is just a video game. It's just a video game. It's just a video game. And I'm walking up and they're trying to scare me with these sounds and they're not doing it. They're not doing it. I'm not scared. I need to pretend I'm a different YouTuber. I need to pretend that I'm somebody that does this shit all the time and is fine with it. I'm embodying Markiplier right now. 
I know I look and sound exactly like Markiplier and that's who I'm embodying right now. The problem is I can't read Russian. It says bop though. Is he talking about a bop? Is he talking about positions by Ariana Grande? Yeah. Can I fall in here? <gasps> Not climb the ladder. I can climb the ladder. Wait, what's up here though? <laughs> I feel like reading Russian would be a real asset to me in this game, it seems like. Oh my god, I can go out here. There's so many places to explore. I'm on the outside of the building. I'm on the outside of the building. I'm on the outside of the building and I've reached a dead end. Can I jump off and die? I don't want to do that though. What's the purpose of this? I don't like a big room. I don't like a big room because the flashlight doesn't go very- <laughs> Okay, she got me. She got me with that one. I can't do this. I wasn't built for this. I don't know why every- I always think I can do this. Which way should I go? There's a million ways to go. Should I go down? Where the jump scare just came from? I'm in the sewers? I'm in the sewers? Deep in the sewers? What's going on here? What's going on here is nothing? If this is that girl's house, she's living in squalor. That's what I call living in squalor. Am I going out here? Who am I? And why would I be doing this? I can't crouch onto that- Oh wait, there was a way to go lower, I think. Yeah, I can go even lower. Why? I don't know. I, I don't know why I would be doing this. I, I don't know <laughs> what the fuck I'm thinking, honestly. Okay, so I'm... <laughs> I'm getting that they're just throwing random jump scares at me. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with my actions, which is like, I can deal with that, right? Like, I can just be aware that that's happening. And like, it should be fine, right? Like, this is just scary sounds. This is like being in a haunted house and I love haunted houses too. This is like being in a haunted house is fine. Due to being overworked and working upwards of a hundred hours a week. Oh, so they're overworked, they're killing themselves. Yikes, yikes, yikes. In a crazy unexpected turn of events, I'm gathering that a lot of people have died here. Okay, so to be clear, this is a horror game in which we're exploring a place where a lot of people have died. The moon's full though, that's pretty. You can't see any detail, that's pretty. That white circle? Beautiful. What's the point of letting me walk outside like this? Nothing's out here. The problem with this is I'm lost. It's just sounds, it's just sounds, it's just sounds, it's just sounds, it's fine. Are these the guys that died? There's another place I can climb down. It's just like, it looks so fun when you see other people play horror games, like, and it looks like it wouldn't be a big deal. But to me right now, it feels like a big deal. And I want to stop. There seems to be nothing down these ladders at all. There's a guy hanging out there. There's a, there's a shadow of a guy hanging out there. Not like hanging, like chilling. Like hanging, like hanging though. Okay, so that's where I just was. There's nothing outside. There's graffiti here, so like there's there's hooligans have been here. Was it this scary for the hooligans too when they were here doing graffiti? I'm just going back. I'm going back to where I've been. Okay, I could go on the ladder in the elevator. I'm intimidated by how many... There's a face right there. It's just graffiti. It's just graffiti. I'm intimidated by how many controls there are, right? Because there were a lot of controls. There were controls for like firing weapons and I'm like, I'm not super into that concept. Like, listen, the place... Listen, the place is haunted, okay? We get it. We get it. It's hella haunted in here. Leave it alone. Go home. I personally would not be interested in investigating more about this place. Okay, 25-year-old woman has fallen to her death in a grain silo. Classic situation. Okay, let me take let me take this moment to say I personally don't believe, and I've said this before, if you've heard me say this before, move on. I personally don't believe that a grain silo accident is something that would occur to me personally. Okay, I've seen those warnings. If you haven't seen the warnings, maybe you don't live in a rural enough area. Maybe you haven't been to, uh, like, the Indiana State Fair and seen, like, the grain silo warning exhibit. Okay, but they usually have some kind of little exhibit about how grain silos can be very dangerous. And I know nothing about farming, but apparently sometimes you have to go in there. Sometimes the grain gets constipated in the silo and you have to kind of like whack it with something to make it flow into the tubes. We've all been there, right? The scary sounds are so loud, it's so distracting. Apparently it's pretty easy for you to like sink into the grain and become entrapped and suffocate and die. They have like charts at, 
had this thing showing you like how many pounds of pressure are on you. However, having seen those warnings, that doesn't seem like a real thing that could happen to me. I'm sure it happens to other people and like RIP to those people, but I just can't imagine that specific thing happening to me. I think I would simply walk on top of the grain. Anyway, sorry to this woman that died in one. Oh, multiple workers report seeing a young woman with black hair. We saw her, right? See, the sounds have kind of stopped now. I feel like the sounds are random. I feel like the sounds are random. I don't think it has anything to do with me. Oh. Hello? Lust? Horny, horny, girl! See, that one wasn't as scary because I walked up to her on purpose like I knew that was gonna happen. If I know what's gonna happen, if they could just give me some warning first, um, right before they do the jump scares, oh, it makes it so much easier. Oh, I'm on the roof. I'm fully on the roof. It's just fog. It's just fog all around us. See, the VHS filter is like really doing the devs a favor here because the environment doesn't have to look realistic at all. Another newspaper. See, I feel better now. I think, ta I think talking about grain silos gave me some confidence. Ongoing lawsuits proceed towards... Okay, so they're getting sued into the ground. I don't know what these people are producing still, um, but they're going bankrupt as they should for making people work a hundred hours a week. Are you serious? The faces on the walls are getting me. Oh, he's hung, he's hung, he's hung. And again, not in the good way, the bad way. Can I scooch past you? Can I scooch past you real quick? Um, where am I right now? So I've read this one. Am I in the elevator shaft? I think I'm in the elevator shaft. Is there anywhere else to go? Like we've reached the top, right? This is the top. Why do I struggle so hard? to go downstairs. What the hell? Who goes downstairs like this? Girl, we get it. You're breathing. You shouldn't be your dad, supposedly. I'm not even moving the camera like that. The camera goes down like that when I go down the stairs against my will. Do I just keep going down? They're breathing a lot. It's making me think something's gonna happen when I get to the bottom. I mean, I'm sorry to all these people that died. Am I supposed to be noticing more things as I'm going down? What do I do? Not me Googling. I guess we keep exploring and try to find if there's more places open. See, the problem I think is that um, there's like a part of my heart that is desperately hoping it's over so I can stop, but there are in fact endings you can get to, I guess. Somebody's screaming again. I'm kind of getting used to it though. I'm, I've been playing long enough that the sound effects are repeating themselves. Sorry, that's just people getting shot. And so it's not really scary anymore. I'm actually, I'm actually fine at this point. I like this room because there's a light in it. Like I'm looking, I'm looking for open windows, cracks. There's nothing I can do but walk, but walk and, and do this. I can go out there, but there was nothing out here. I'm stuck. I can't move. Guys, I literally can't move. I'm stuck. Like, I can crouch, but I can't jump and I can't move. Is this part of the horror? I'm stuck- I'm stuck on this little plank above some- some great distance above the earth and I'm- and I'm stuck forever? And my heart- my heart can't take it. I'm- I'm giving up. I'm leaving. Oh my god, Markiplier didn't even play it? I just want to see what the ending is. Not this intro, please. Not this intro. He set up the alarm somehow. Now the graffiti is on our television. You should have left the tape alone. See, now I'm relaxed. Now I'm completely calm. When it's not me doing it, I don't give a shit. I'm chilling now. Somebody's knocking on the door. Markiplier. <laughs> Mark Markiplier's out there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Bodies in my room. Bodies in my room. Is that it? Okay, guys, it wasn't even that interest. It wasn't even that interesting. It's not like there was another crazy jump scare at the end. <laughs> not me checking my YouTube notifications <laughs> while I'm recording. It's just instinctual. That's enough, right? This can just be a short video because I need to. I need to mentally recover from that. <laughs> I need to mentally recover from that 30 minutes of gameplay that I just did. I do feel. Do I feel a little better? I think maybe I feel a little better. Maybe I'm a little desensitized. Maybe I'll play a bunch of horror games for Halloween and I'll be fine. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.